Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about how to use ChatGPT for creating your graphs, your sequence diagrams, your flow chart. So we'll see like how we can utilize this to create, to help your uh, your job or uh, whatever, whichever project that you're working on, right? So this is, you know, graphs are basically used by your solution analyst. Um, uh, so solution list, your business analyst, they have to create process diagrams, sequence diagrams, UML diagrams, right? So so basically we'll see like uh, how we can help, uh, especially the architect, right? So every technical architect or solution architect has to design some sequence diagrams. So we will see like how you can use ChatGPT to create your diagrams. What we're going to be doing in this video, we're going to be using uh, um, uh, the markup uh, uh, the markup language as uh, Mermaid, okay, just to create your uh, your graphs or your flowcharts, and uh, we're gonna be utilizing it uh, through the Visual Studio Code. So I'm sure everybody is familiar with the Visual Studio Code. So so let's get started. But before we get started, please guys, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and like and subscribe like and hit the subscribe button. Okay, so let's get started. So this is uh, chat GPT as you can see on the screen. Um, like I said, I will be using Visual Studio. So I have done some sample diagrams here. So they are sample diagrams for whatever or whichever you want to do. So this is a sequence diagram, right? So yeah, this is a markup language uh, using Mermaid extension. So that's what we am um, using here. Okay, uh, there is another video that I have uh, captured, which uh, is going to say like how to install the Mermaid plugin uh, with your uh, Visual Studio code. So you can uh, you can watch that video, you know, if you want to add the extension. Uh, however, it is going to be very simple. Okay, so let's start it, right? So let's say, let me put a very simple problem statement like I want to see a flow chart. So let's say um, Mermaid flow chart for for creating the coffee okay let's see what uh, do you receive as part of the response i'm still using the free version guys okay so the response might might delay from chat gpt for free versions okay so it's saying uh, okay i think my my query was incorrect moment flow chart for creating coffee okay i think that was incorrect mermaid flow chart for preparing the tea let's see how it goes okay so okay this is how it's creating this is how it's giving you the result like mermaid flow chart for preparing the tea okay Cattle, tea, infuser, so blah, blah, blah. So there are different sequences that's going to you, okay? So now what we're going to be doing, we're going to be using this uh, this uh, markup syntaxes and uh, we'll put it in or paste it uh, in the Visual Studio. So I'll copy those markup syntaxes. However, it is going to explain you like what uh, he, what the user needs to do in a different steps, okay? So let's copy this, uh, this markup. So I copied it. I'm going to the Visual Studio. Okay, so let me replace this. Okay, so um, it's uh, let me say Control E, delete. Now I need to use. I can I can paste it here directly. Okay, I have pasted, but uh, the preview chart is not showing anything, right? So what I because why? Because we need to to use the the moment syntax. Okay, what's happening? One, one, one. Okay, mermaid. Okay. See, this is how it's showing, right? So this is showing in a graph sequence. I don't know why it's coming like this. Water. Okay, cattle. Everything is there. So let me take take this out. 
you can do whatever you want to do okay the words are too big let me short this out so you can change as and when you want right so it's not like this there's nothing that you can change so but yeah this is showing very small i'll maybe use another example like let's say um let's say let's let's use a sequence diagram right so okay i think it's uh it's uh yeah i think there is something that we still need to learn here yeah there's a lot that that we need to learn as part of the uh the moment flow charts okay so basically what you can do you can just copy it you can keep it in your document you can change it at any any point of time so this uh, this markup uh, you know markup language is giving you a lot of flexibility in order to store your document and everything right okay so let's uh, let's move into another example of sequence diagram so let me see if i can get something to for sequence diagram okay um so let me see mermaid sequence diagram for online payment okay you, however you can also use a, a real time problem just to you know um you can post your real time problem like let's say if you if you busy creating uh, a project where uh, uh, the uh, the the request the user needs to talk to a different layer than then different layer talk to your talks to your background layer right so all these different problems you can uh, you can post here right so okay so it's saying network error let me see if i'm corrected or not i'm trying to regenerate the response okay the response is not in line to okay i have asked about mermaid but this giving the response in vnet right so let me again post my query maybe mermaid sequence diagram for online payment okay and didn't know knew about this issue i think this is a big issue right because i clicked on there was network issue and somehow chat gpt didn't ex uh, accept my actual request right so let me post my query again but this is the bug that we found on chat, G chat gpt see okay now it's giving you the correct response right a uh, sequence diagram okay so here's the code let me copy that and i will go back to the visual studio and uh, let me let me create let me create a new file right so rather let me create a new file instead of using the same one online payment sequence dot markdown language right so yeah this is markdown language so okay let me use this didn't work let me use the mermaid extension okay uh, mermaid okay there you go so here as you can see as you can see like uh, the sequence diagram is created user the, the sequence uh, the flow will go to the online store to your payment gateway you can enhance your code by introducing another layer so these are the participants so like so it's a payment gateway you can also introduce another participant here like, let's say participant um back in layer right so this is how you can you can you know interact and uh, yeah and here you can also mention like um payment gateway goes to your back and layer right so um okay backend layer payment gateway goes to backend layer and this is going to notify notify blah 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 right? so this is how you can create your sequence diagram so yeah that's all in this video uh, everyone like i hope you would have liked the video if you have any 
queries regarding how to create the mermaid diagrams please post your queries on the comment sections also as i mentioned please hit like and subscribe button if you want to receive more updates so very similar to this kind of uh, um, like uh, this kind of video so if you want to see this kind of videos please uh, please subscribe our button so that you can receive the latest update from our side okay and yeah thank you so much for watching again thank you so much everyone cheers bye